YouTube. So in this video, I wanted to talk about fruitarianism. What is it? Can we actually live off of just nothing but fruits? Today, actually, I'm gonna try it. So as you've seen, I woke up today, I uh, had some grapes, had a banana, I went to the store, went and got some more bananas, uh, carrot juice. Then I also went to uh, where I live around here, they have those like little fruit stands in the corners of like your streets and whatnot. So I had a little fruit cup of that, and then I just had a plum. So it's about 8.30ish right now in the afternoon, so pretty much my day's gone by. And I'm actually pretty surprised that uh, I'm not feeling weak. I don't feel any type of like different way other than, you know, once in a while you do get like a craving for something that you would normally be eating, but it's just a craving. You can differentiate a craving from actually being hungry. So it's been actually a good experience for me. So why fruitarianism? Well, you know, I think a lot of people want to take health into their own matters. And that's one aspect of how they feel they're doing it. Because we all know, you know, we have a lot of processed foods out there. A lot of foods that actually gives us a lot more toxics and gives us a bad health. It is coming to light that, you know, part of our health or, or, or one of the best things we can do for our health is to take in good, healthy nutrients. And it's nothing new. It's just something that people are experimenting with. There's a vegetarianism, vegan, fruitarians, and, and you know, I've been hearing this thing of uh, breatharians, um, which I will talk about in another video, and you know, just kind of like explore it and, and, and what is it about and what's, what's the idea, and can we actually live off of just, you know, just fruits or just air or uh, being just vegan or whatever. Like, you know, the, the understanding is that we need all these minerals vitamin i i agree we do need it but can we harness it somehow through other means um other than just our conventional way of thinking about food so that's kind of it right there you know before you do any of these type of things you know listen to your body that's the best thing i can say it's like always listen to your body see how you're reacting to what and, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to tell you this is great and it's going to cure everything. But do some research too. Like mainly, mainly, if anything, do some research because it's a lot of great information out there. And me personally, like just like fasting. Fasting's, you know, it's it's known to be a really beneficial thing for our body and, and, and for our spirit and our mental well-being. And just to get rid of all the toxics and whatnot. I mean, it has these beneficial aspects of it. So, you know, maybe this fruitarianism and breatharianism has something, you know, beneficial. You know, there's also the raw, just eat nothing but raw foods and whatnot. Because the idea here is uh, to get nutrients. You know, this is how I see it. I, I, when I eat something, I want to get nutrients. I want to get something that it's beneficial for my skin, my bones, my eyes, my hair my organs I don't, what's the point of me putting something in my body that it's not going to be useful and later you know it's going to be actually damaging to my body you know it, it doesn't make any sense for me so you know i i do explore with a lot of these uh um methods and and you know it's all for the better it's all to to keep getting better to keep connecting to your spirit to keep you in a, in a good collective state and you know and ultimately just be happy and 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 healthy that's i think that's what everybody wants and whatnot so as far as you know eating straight on fruits um i could see it i could see it happening you know because just just for me to today i ate it you know nothing but fruits and uh i can't say what the long-term effects or causes will be um, but just for today, it feels great. And, and if I really wanted to, I could probably go for it for tomorrow and, you know, just take it day by day and see how, how things go. And um, I think that's what it comes down to, listening to your body. Once you listen to your body, you, I think your body is smart and it knows how to adapt and heal and whatnot. So this notion that we, we, we need to always constantly be eating this or that, it's like I think we, we program our body that way, you know. And... I, you know, I've researched into the whole thing of breatharianism and whatnot. Now, I'm not going to say it's, you know, the best thing ever because I really don't know too much about it. I haven't done it myself. Um, but 
I understand the philosophy and the idea behind it and I can see how it can be possible because if you are someone that's trying to get like in a spiritual connectedness to like energy of life what the idea is that you 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 start to harness that energy that your body adapts to that energy and it, it starts to slowly uh your body starts to get like reprogrammed in a way for it, it to draw energy in that way so it's kind of like um uh, you know we, we drive this car that uses gasoline and then you know there's there's methods that you could turn it electric there's methods that you can uh, run it on on you know hydrogen um, and there's methods that you can run it on like oils and whatnot. So it's, 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 it's changing the mechanisms of the engine to be able to draw these other um, types of fuels and whatnot. I think that's what we do with our body. We change the mechanism and, and the way that, you know, whether it's mind over matter or, 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 or however it happens. I don't know the specifics, but I, I see how it can be possible. And if it's something that's already universal energy out there and you can harness it somehow and i mean in, in reality we're all breatharians you know we all breathe air you can't not breathe air and stay alive so you know i'll say that but you know to what extent can we get what our body needs to 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 stay alive and and, and do we really need a lot of this stuff is the question because you know we get programmed into thinking that we need this we need that and then like you know two three years later or a couple years later a new study comes in that that was actually bad for you or we actually didn't need that or you know etc etc et you get what i'm saying so you know just what i'm saying really is keep an open mind and do your own research you know do your own research and 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 in everything and that's probably the best way you will learn and grow through your own discernment and your own experience yeah taking my word and everybody's words those are our experiences um and they could help you you know in some ways and in other ways that could be very very helpful and in other ways you know they can be also kind of like just dumb and dangerous because you don't want to just like blindfully listen to what everybody or everything you read or everything you see on youtube and whatnot just you know how i do it is i listen to something um and if it resonates with me if it feels right and and when i do go into practicing it uh that's 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 where it's 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 really evident you know like is it making me feel good or is it making me feel bad now, obviously you got to understand a lot of different layers of things you know like for example you know when i became a, a vegan vegetarian well first i went um vegetarian and then i went vegan you know i had been eating meat and and then even to the point now i'm i'm, I'm like almost borderline raw food vegan you know to to where it's like every time you let go of some habit or some food there's always going to be a withdrawal state you know so so it's it's you know there's, there's, don't don't misinterpret that for as like oh uh, i guess what i'm trying to say is uh there there might be a, a point where you, your your body's actually cleansing and letting go of the toxics that that food created so it's not it's not something that we need to think that like oh i'm feeling this uh resistance or this agitation because i haven't eaten that thing that i need if that makes sense um so yeah you know do your own research uh and experiment with it you know because ultimately ultimately you know like there's this buddha quote that says you know we are you know the, the engineers of our health and it's mainly through our lifestyle and what we eat and i'm really 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 agree with that i do strongly resonate with that and it makes sense you know um so yeah i won't make this video too too long um so this fruitarian thing for today has been actually a, a pretty cool experience um it's not bad uh you know i don't know if i'll do it tomorrow or what will happen but you know i, I want to just you know explore you know my, my my soul my mind and and my body and, and and see what works and what's ultimately most efficient that's one thing you know efficiency and 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 find out the truth find out truth of of what it is that my body could deal with and what it needs 
and, and just you know dive into the truth you know pretty much it so guys thank you for watching if you have any comments hit that comment area like this video if you think this video is interesting or you're kind of you know vibing with it and subscribe to my channel because i'm gonna just you know keep doing these videos so all right guys much love stay blessed and i'm out